Welcome back to Juicy Crypto News, friends. We have some nice information for you today. Bitcoin is double bottoming, seemingly so. I want to remind you as well, though, we've been talking about this for a while. What did I tell you, friends? The final gasp. It's the final gasp you've got to worry about. It's always the final move that tricks everyone. Because what's everybody been saying? Of course, my friend, the cat CL, has been saying, you know what? You guys are too euphoric. And you have people like me saying it as well. But friends, you, you never, ever try to stand in front of that train. You just always know the train can keep going. It's just, it's meant to be used as a guide. Like, hey, now's not the time to be getting into the poop. Now's the time to be unloading the poop, dumping the poop out, right? You were buying the poop from pessimists months ago, years ago. Now you're getting rid of the poop to optimists. Of course, if your poop hasn't been rallying, right? For example, we've got Pulse Chain, Pulse X and Hex, it's still depressed. I like that. Okay, I know it's going to look, it looks trash. It feels bad, but I like that you have the ability to keep buying something cheap, okay? Because the market has woken up to something like, like that. For example, look at Chainlink, friends. I get asked so much about Chainlink, and I'm like, man, we can't do anything. It's just, it 3 x It's literally out of the buy zone. Let everybody else play around with it, okay? And then if you wait for it in the next cheap zone, well, you're not going to get something so juicy and cheap, are you? You're probably going to hunt something else. So these things eventually, once you're getting rid of the depression zone, you don't want to touch them ever again. That's why you really got to make the most of it. And that's why also when the bull market gets cut early, it's going to make a lot of sense to you because you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that person unloading that 10,000 Bitcoin, yeah, they were accumulating for like part, for a year and a half, two years. Okay, they had a long time to do it. You can see, friends, I've shown you so many times. The charts say Bitcoin and crypto, everything is just trash for 85% of the time. Real numbers, by the way, 85% of the time. And only the last 15%, the last couple of months, it starts to get good and exciting, okay? And you get to see these moments of, of uh, euphoria up here. So this is Bitcoin. We're still waiting to see what chart pattern ends up doing. It's probably going to burst up. I mean, who cares, friends? At the end of the day here, you're looking at the green weekly candles. Look what it did earlier this year. This is probably a good indication here. You see, it comes here, zip up, okay? But this period is important. Peppy was here. You see that? This is Peppy, literally Peppy. And look, Bitcoin doesn't like crash down or do anything. It just kind of just goes, wait, are we moving? Are we moving? Okay, we're not moving. Okay, but you know, this period is still painful because the dopamine goes away. So when we start moving, yes, the dopamine. And then it stops. You're like, man, I just want you, what's going to happen? What's going to happen, right? It gets very, very anxious for every single person involved, especially when we come here as well. Okay, you can see this is big destruction. This is a September, man. Look how small it looks on the chart. But we remember this September looked really depressing. We're like, oh my gosh, it's all over, isn't it? I also want to show you the altcoins. You can see there's a lot of red now. You can just see, friend. Just remember, if you watch my earlier videos, I told you, watch out for the weekends. When you see people being degenerates on weekends, I promise you, friends, it's like cl clockwork now. I'm like, oh, it's over, isn't it? It's literally over. It's the final weekend. Just, I don't know why. We don't know why. Every single time, it, everyone gets excited on the weekend. That's it. It's just like it's, something's going to crash. It's like, it's like there's we've run out of all the buyers. And now, so if you want a real theory as to why that happens, friends, it's because most of these big cucks, hedge funds and all the soy boys out there, okay, who are like want to dump, they usually have offices, and they have team meetings before they do big decisions, all right? They're not just like me, like, oh, you know what? Um, I don't feel good today. I'm just clicking out, <laughs> right? They're not like me and you. What they do is they've got to have a meeting. They've got to talk to everybody. They're like, okay, let's sell, you know, first thing Monday morning. That's what they'll do. They go and they have their meeting, early call. They're like, okay, yes. Are we following the plan? Okay, have we signed off? Okay, sweet. They just got to have this confirmation, right? And usually there's higher ups. They just got to make a, get a few people to make decisions. And none of them want to work weekends. They don't really care. Remember, they're here for the Christmas bonus, friends. They're not here 24 seven. All right. So that's on, on average. Okay. On average, there's more people still like that because they're still part of stock companies and they're trading futures and other stuff. Right. So they're not going to meet on a weekend just for like crypto when probably their bigger portfolio parts is like other traditional finance things. Okay. So that explains why the final move is done. They're waiting in that final week. And then the weekend comes where everyone's moving around, but they haven't begun dumping yet. And then they'll start dumping, like they'll try to front run everybody starting that next week, okay? Now, if you go back to the old coins, you can see there's a lot of red moving around here. You can just see, friends. I mean, no one's excited. No, no one's really, like, is, is surprised at this point. Now, something about bonk, though, okay? Just to let you know, okay, this is just some psychology, okay? I'm going to share with you, okay? So bonk hit almost 50% from the top. Bang, all right? Now, there are people in here, they're not going to get out. They're not going to get up. It's because they're like, wait a minute. Um, 
My portfolio in this said, you know, 10,000 five days ago. Now it's 5,000. It's down 50%. That's how they see it. They don't see it as, well, you played a momentum trade and the momentum slowing down, okay? Because they're, getting, they're buying the tops. They think they're buying the tops for a long-term investment for everything keep going up, okay? And it doesn't really happen. It doesn't ever happen like that, okay? Super rare occasions, right? So when this thing approaches everybody, everybody is starting to get complacent. They're like, wait a minute, 50% drop, we're hanging around, you know, oh, I'm not going to get out. I'll probably get out when it gets back to the top, right? And unfortunately, what ends up happening is they end up sinking lower and lower. This is how everybody becomes a bag hole of everything else. And they realize... Only in the midst of the next crash, friends. So when once something gets hits like that, minus seventy percent retrace, finally, that's when they all realize they've been conned. Okay, you know, there's people, there's people selling at minus fifty percent, minus sixty percent, but for some reason, I've noticed around that minus seventy, that's like the the last threshold, friends. But that's where, that's where people, half people in denial, half people realize they've been conned. But at minus eighty percent, oh, everybody realizes they've been conned, like they've been full on conned at that point, and they're like, oh wow. You know, I listened to the wrong people. You're all scum. You were all dumping on me. Just to let you know, friends, there are confirmed already OTC transactions of enormous bonk wallets dumping OTC right now. They're selling to retail, selling to the exchanges, okay? And you can even confirm this. Go to Adam Cochran right now. Cocky, he made a post and everybody railed on him. All the bonk maxis and Soilana maxis came to him. They accused him. They're saying like really nasty things. And I'm like, man, go through the whole comments. No one supports him and everybody is against him. I'm like, that sounds like the crowd might be wrong again, friends. The crowd is saying, no, 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 this this, this $25 million transaction moving it around, they're, they're just bored. They're just bored. No, man, like, they're here to dump, friends. I mean, let's be real. Also, let's be real about this. Okay, so the, the Grayscale CEO went on to CNBC and he said that the Bitcoin spot ETF is going to unlock $30 trillion dollars of wealth okay but i'm just gonna have to tell you something friends okay because won't stop to surrender. no it won't all right no it won't i'm just telling you now friends i'm not i'm not uh, no it's like fudge these guys friends fudge them it's a family friendly show okay fudge 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 them to hell no no it won't unlock 30 trillion okay what they've done is They've said, well, theoretically, if all of you allocated all the money that you're not even allowed to allocate out of into Bitcoin, yeah, you put 30 trillion. Okay, no. At best, it's a 1% allocation. At best. 1% of 30 trillion is 300 billion. One, that's at best, friends, 1%. Okay, at best. They're not going to go do that. Okay, they're not going to come buy your bag straight away. These people have waited this long. You think they're just going to come, oh, sweet, let's go market buy everything. They're not. Okay, we're pricing it in now. So it's not by the rumor, by the news. But what, why this upsets me is because we blew our load too early. Okay, it just it is what it is. Okay, it's like you know you got your chocolate cake and you're supposed to save it for after dinner, and you started eating it and it's like literally eleven twenty in the morning. You know what I mean? That's exactly right. You know what I got in the fridge. So when it comes to that, friends, unfortunately, what I dreamed of in another timeline, in another universe parallel to us, they got the Bitcoin ETF. In like March 2025, March to April, that's the launch. That would have got approved. And then two months later, it's like the bull market's done. Okay, it's topped out already. Unfortunately, we don't get that. We get ours early. We're getting ours like the beginning of 2024. All right. So looking at these numbers, they're not for you and me. Okay, I just want you to understand this. When they say these numbers, it's not for your friend Somi and everyone here in the little your friend Somi cult. No. This is for hedge fund cucks who are looking for something to trade, looking for volatility. They heard about people making money in crypto. They can't make money in stocks. The yield out there is weird. They don't know what's going on. They're losing their edge. Come and try. Come and punt it. Start becoming a bit of a believer, right? You get a bit taunted by those green candles moving up a bit fast. You don't realize it's only moving fast because it's the very end of the move, okay? It's for those people to come in and lose all their money. Okay, it's not for you and me. Okay, these are sell signals. Okay, and I can actually prove it to you, right? So look, if we got that 2025 Bitcoin, by the way, if we got that 2025 Bitcoin ETF, it would have been so much nicer to just predict some sort of blow off. But unfortunately, we didn't. That's just how the cookie crumbled. Okay, now I'm going to show you this. Look at this chart, friends. Look at this chart. Okay, this you can't can't make this up. Look, these are addresses with more than 10 Bitcoin. All right. Now, <clears throat> what's interesting is all the on-chain analysis people. Trust me, they're always going to mix and match the data 
to make it look like it's still bullish. All right. <clears throat> I've seen so many things. And, and unfortunately, what's happening is it's diminishing over time. So <clears throat> what they used to do is they have a filter. They go, okay, if this certain metric indicator gets hit, these amount of addresses sell, okay, it's a top. Guess what happened in the next cycle, friends? It never got hit. All right. <clears throat> in the next cycle, it was a diminished gain. So then everyone's, everyone fails predicting the top. <clears throat> so then what happens in the next cycle, they now use that line as the new filter. They go, okay, that's the new lowered line is the filter. Okay, guess what happens again? The next, next cycle that they're in, it lowers again. That's what happened in 2021. So their filters and their conditions of what euphoria is and certain addresses are, they're getting lower and lower and lower every time. And they keep missing the mark, right? They keep missing the mark because everybody's in la-la land Remember, friends, these on-chain people, they're bullish on crypto too. Right? They can't even fathom Bitcoin stopping on 100K. You know what I mean? But if you look at the data objectively, you can say, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just diminishing down over time. But no, they, they can't say that. That's like, that's it's a sin, right, to say that. Because you know what happens if you keep diminishing that over time. 100K Bitcoin. Friends, even if we get 100K, all right, I hope we do. What's a 70% drop from 100K? That's lower than today, by the way. That's 30K. Literally, that is minus 35% lower than today. That is like in 2026. Can you believe that? In, in telling someone in 2025, 2026, we're actually going to be at 30K lower than this. So just do the numbers, friends. Right? So look at this. This is the chart I want to show you. Now, in 2020, these addresses, okay, you can see them. These addresses, is the orange line here. They started dumping on retail as the price went up. Okay, they kept dumping. And what happens is, look, see, they unloaded on everyone. This includes a lot of these addresses, a lot of scum miners. Now, these addresses is more than, greater than, greater than Bitcoin, greater than 10 Bitcoin, okay? So you can see all F2 pool, all those evil Chinese miners who were just saying, yes, Bitcoin, yes, yes. No, nah, they were dumping in the background the whole time. Okay, they are all dumping, telling you it's going to go thousands of millions of trillions of, they were dumping on us, all of them, okay? So... What are they doing now? They're doing it again. All right. Interesting. They accumulated, friends. This is the weird part. Okay. Look at this part. See, this is weird, right? Because this is, remember, friends, you watch my Richard Hart video where I said what really happened. Most big players, a lot of them did what Richard Hart did, which is they assumed that the April 2021 top was the top here. And so what they did was they walked forward one year. Okay, they walked forward one year, which is like here, right? They walked forward one year, friends, and look what happens here. Here, they go, oh, wow, the, the bottom must be in. So they've started like one or two months early. Okay, and look, look what happens, friends. Look, at everybody starts accumulating. See this part? Starts going up. Starts going up. That's everybody accumulating. And then it capitulates down here. Now, this is June here. See this June part? Okay, so see what it's, it's crazy, right? So these big players all got it wrong. They all got it wrong, just like Richard Hart. Think about it, these people with like thousands of Bitcoin plus. Every single person not right about the cycle. They all started accumulating around the lunar collapse. They thought it was lunar. By the way, friends, I have a tweet. I literally have a tweet. Okay, okay, on my Twitter. Type in double capitulation prophecy. Okay, you can actually type that in for me. Now, I didn't think it was going to happen. I had low odds, but it happened. All right. No one was thinking about it. None. Why? It's because back then, a year and a half ago, no, longer than that, like in the first, almost two years ago, friends, the market players, everybody only had two views. Okay. They said, all right, there's either going to be no capitulation and the bull market's going to keep going, or we're going to have one capitulation. It was literally split 50-50. Okay. And then I thought, I go, you know what? I actually think there's going to be a double capitulation because no one's expecting that. And look, surprise, surprise, friends, that's exactly what happened, right? The double capitulation is what happened. So if we go back to the chart right here, okay, you can tell this was it. This was the double capitulation, friends. You had, right, you had like this Celsius thing. So it doesn't really matter. It's really hard to see. You had an FTX capitulation and one here. Is that the double capitulation or is that here? It doesn't really matter, man. I don't care about that. I'm just telling you. Remember, do you want to be right or do you want to make money? I don't really care. All I really know, knew is, is it okay? Don't do any leverage and stretch out your time horizon. Otherwise, you're going to get wrecked, okay? You're going to lose 
your mental stamina and we're in this for a long time back back then even in 2022 i was talking to friends i'm back here i said hey man we're worried about 2024 just make it to 2024 i already said right off 2023 when it comes to any of um these scenarios so yeah just to remind you again look at those pe those big wallets friends all the wallet they're unloading like right now right now look see it's funny right what are you seeing in the media it's funny we've just copy pasted traditional finance it's just that we can see it on chain we can see them lying now okay we can see okay but uh, we can't really call them lying it's like who makes it to the very very front it's the people who are optimistic who say well buy the rumor buy the news like even raul Powell, shout out to raul Powell. he's got a two hundred thousand dollar bitcoin target for the next five months look at the on-chain look what everybody's doing by the way okay while retailers are like self-fulfilling prophecy um entertaining themselves with the thought of a two hundred thousand dollar bitcoin in five months what's everybody on chain doing dumping literally starting a dump already look events see this it's not coincidence they start to dump at the thirty seven thousand dollar mark interesting the break even soy boy mark the exact price so don't believe everything you see friends i mean you don't even believe me all right i'm lucky to exist yes i am a squirrel yes i hold my own nuts but at the end of the day Look at all these people. Just you know, you know something's wrong. Because if you do the numbers, friends, you know a two hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin using the ETH BTC ratio, which we're going to talk about right now, it gives you a twenty thousand dollar ETH. You know that gives you fifty X on every altcoin if that happens. Fifty X, not happening, man. We've already gone through previous cycles. Okay, so just quickly as well, friends. So Mr. IMB Roots as well. Okay, before we go into Ethereum bottom signals. Mr. IMB Roots, congratulations to him. He made it to the crypto banter show, and I made a five minute video here just to give to the Pulse chain. Uh, Pulse X and Hex community, okay? Won't load here. Now, Mr. IMB Roots went on to Crypto, Band, uh, Crypto Man Show, ran, uh, ran, and I just I got a message for everyone. So what we have to do is now, even though it was like 15 seconds of talking about Pulse Chain, every time Pulse Chain pumps, right? Pulse, Pulse X, and Hex, this is, this is how you have to do it, okay? Every time it goes up, right? So for example, I'm going to get the Pulse X chart up. So look at this. This is a weekly chart. Friends, look, people who watch Crypto Banter, I love watching Crypto Banter, but most of the audience, because they have like, you know, they're going to get to like a million people following one day. I'm telling you, 95% of people, they're not hodlers, okay? They're there for like the days and the weeks. They're the very short-term mindset, okay? So what you're going to do is you literally just go down like a four-hour chart and that's it. Look at this, your four-hour your chart and you just zoom it up. You go, wow, thank you for exposing your audience to this 30% move already, right? Or you just go to the daily chart and you just show them like, oh, wow, look how much we're up, okay? And that's all you got to keep doing over and over again you keep tagging ran and say wow thank you for exposing the crypto banter audience to something that's cheap and on the way up and that's all you got to do because it's real DeFi, okay so mr b roots came left field on that and surprised ran okay so i'll quickly pray for you a better chain that everybody is sleeping on that is going to give massive wealth in my opinion and what is that 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 chain's pulse chain everybody's pulse sleeping. chain hear, hear me out hear me out right now everybody is talking so you see that so mr b roots because he was coming on there once again congratulations so very proud of you for making it all there with his cute little bucket hat so mr b roots has come on there he's talking about memes and poop coinery and swimming around the sewer and ship and all these and then like for rand to hit pulse chain you know what i mean friends that's why you got to come at these at different angles and and here's the thing right let me tell you something okay i don't have the most amount of pulse pulse x or hex i don't i'm not the biggest whale so people are always confused Right outside of our community, they're like, haha, you must be getting paid. But you see, they're so, I don't want to, I'm not going to use the word stupid friends, but their backs are very hunched and they have very rounded elbows. Okay. And they drink room temperature orange juice. These people, when it comes to Celestia or Arbitrum or Optimism or any, or, or, or Pui or Kraptos or Blast or any of these, how come when it comes to Pulse Chain, they go, well, you must be getting paid. They never think to their minds. All they got to do is literally got to go like, subscribe to my channel, follow my Twitter, and I'll literally show you. Go, hey, bro, you know your crappy Celestia that's pumping because Bankless said that Vitalik approves of it? Go look at the unlocks to the insiders. Do you want to know the numbers, friends? It's 53%. 53% to the insiders, okay? But they're just not unlocked now. So what they're doing is they're letting it float high on a low float. It's the Wall Street scam. They're letting it pump with very low float friends, very low float. So when it pumps, it gets news and attention and then they can unload later. When they're gonna unload, golly gee, maybe the Bitcoin halvening makes sense. Trust me, they're all gonna do it. By the way, not even like rumor, it's already confirmed true. 
Optimism, Arbitrum, many of these chains, they already have unlocked schedules from two years ago, by the way. From two years ago, they knew, hey, let's unload everything on the Bitcoin halvening year. Now, of course, baby, I was just going to finish here with bottom signals for ETH BTC. Right? Just to tell you, by the way, the ETH BTC chart is pretty much the heartbeat for crypto. Okay, this is literally really important. All right, and it's been going down for the fourth quarter of this year. That's why I know you're not going to like what I say. Some people and say, yeah, if your coins have been moving in this fourth quarter up, they're not, they're part of the poop crowd. Okay, they're not part of the real crowd. Okay, so when Ethereum starts moving up, I want to let you know, friends. Ethereum and Pulse Chain, Pulse X and X, linked. Okay, not just liquidity bonded. Like we can tell when Ethereum's strong, we are strong. Okay, when Ethereum's weak, we're weak. All right, now look at this. This ch person, I don't know who he is, but he says, "Look at this. Look, look at the likes. He got seventy nine thousand views. He goes, and look at the ratio. By the way, heaps of likes, low comment ratio. Like that's like that's like super. The crowd is super approving of this. Okay, he goes, Ethereum looks like it's on a trajectory." to become a no man's land middle ground blockchain. It's subpar money compared to Bitcoin and a subpar technology platform compared to Soilana. Okay, well, I'm just gonna tell you something, brother. All right, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? Do you like bottoms because, look in the mirror, you are a bottom, okay? Bears are smelly and poop in the woods. I'm gonna show you something. The ETH BTC ratio, coincidentally, is he says, you see, Vince, look at this, okay. Whenever someone talks bad about something, just go to the chart and look at it. I want you to look at it and go, hmm, what if they're wrong? You see this? What if they're wrong? What if they're wrong? And I just wanna remind you, in the previous times, this was the fourth quarter of ETH BTC before. Look at this, look, he had no idea what's going on. Look at this, look at this. Look, he could say the exact same comment, just rewind three, four years ago, December 2019, rewind four years ago, friends, look. He's literally talking here, the fourth quarter of that year, right before the Bitcoin halving happens, starts going up. Starts going up and we continue in the bull market, okay? And look what even happened before that, right? This is back in Ethereum early days. It's the same thing. Look at this. He might say, Ethereum has no place in crypto. Ethereum is subpar. Well, I think you're a subpar bear and you're pretty much a poopy head because what if this happens again, man? What if this happens? Are you prepared for that? I'm prepared for that. I know you are too. That's why we're long altcoins around the Ethereum city. So look... I'm just going to tell you something, friends. Even if you hate Richard Hart, okay, even if you hate Richard Hart, most of crypto does, I want you to know one thing. Richard Hart tried to make the most wealth. And a lot of people respect him for his decision-making ability. They might not like him, but they're like, okay, he's smart. So the guy who tries to make the most wealth, who optimizes for it, and who probably makes the best decision, he chose Ethereum, okay? He didn't choose Soilana. He didn't choose Phantom. He didn't choose Casper's DAG. He didn't choose Stellar or XRP. He chose Ethereum, okay? So you can take from that what you want. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button all. Catch you very soon.